Today we're making a healthy version of Snickers and we're gonna make it gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, refined sugar-free. And if you swap the maple syrup for a sugar-free syrup, then this can be keto low-carb too. We're gonna start by prepping our pan. This is a no-bake recipe, so really you can use anything to shape your bars. You want it about these dimensions though. It's four and a half by eight and a half, or you can double the recipe and use an eight by eight pan, or you can even use an ice cube tray and make little Snickers bites. We'll show you that later on, as well as some other nut options you can do. One little hack is to spray your pan with oil. We use an avocado spray and it helps your parchment stick to the sides. And now we're gonna get our nougat layer ready. This is gonna be almond butter, coconut oil, maple syrup. We're actually using a 50-50 mix of maple syrup and allulose. And then we're gonna use almond flour and coconut flour, some vanilla, and a pinch of salt. So we're gonna go ahead and combine this all in one bowl, and then we're gonna mix it up. And when it's nice and smooth, we're gonna add it to our loaf pan and smooth it out. I find the easiest way to do this is to add all your liquidy ingredients first, and once you've got that, pretty homogeneous, then you can add in your flour because the almond flour and the coconut flour are gonna absorb some of the liquid and make that nougaty, chewy texture. So next we're gonna bring our pan back over and we're gonna spread this nougat out in a nice even layer. And when we're happy with that, we're going to make our next layer, which is our caramel layer. It has similar ingredients except for the coconut flour and the almond flour so that it stays a nice liquidy caramel. It's kind of like our peanut butter caramel you've seen in the past. And then we're gonna add some crunchy nuts to it too. For the caramel, we need almond butter, coconut oil, maple syrup, vanilla, sea salt, and some nuts. So we're gonna go ahead and add this all to the bowl just like the nougat layer, except I like to leave the nuts for the end after you've got the caramel nice and smooth. I like to add half of the nuts and then after you've spread your caramel layer into your pan, I like to sprinkle the last nuts on top so they're kind of poking out and not buried in caramel. It gives it more authentic Snickers vibes. Now we're using almonds and almond butter here, but you can totally go ahead and use peanuts and peanut butter for a completely authentic Snickers vibe. And we've done this with a vegan Nutella as well and that was absolutely delicious. You could do it with pistachios. I mean, your possibilities are endless. So once you've got your last nut sprinkled on top, we are gonna pop this in the freezer. What we want is the caramel to set up enough that we can cut these bars nicely. So ours has been sitting in the freezer for about two hours. And if you find that your bars are sticking in your pan, you can gently use a knife like we are or use a spatula just to loosen up and be able to pop it out. Then grab a knife and a cutting board and let's cut these up. We cut them into eight long skinny pieces, more like Snickers, but feel free to cut them however you like. You could cut them how we did, but then cut them in half again or in third, or you could just cut them into eight squares. That would be cute too. Totally up to you. Next, we're gonna prep our dipping chocolate. But one thing to note, if you notice when you were cutting your bars that they were soft, pop the bars back in the freezer while we're prepping the chocolate, just to give it a little more chill time. And we're going to take our chocolate with a little bit of coconut oil and we are going to heat it in the microwave on 30 second burst until it's nice and melted. You can also do this in a double boiler. Now that we've got our dipping station set up, let's get dipping. We're just going to throw one bar at a time into our chocolate and we're going to use our forks or if you use spoons to move it around and flip it over until it's totally covered. Then lift it up and let it drip a little bit before moving it to your parchment. And you're just going to continue that until you've dipped all of your bars. And if you like, at this point, you can sprinkle some flaky sea salt on top. And after the chocolate has started to set, you can use a fork or a piping bag and drizzle a pattern on top, kind of like the Snickers. And when you've got them all done, we're gonna pop them back in the fridge until the chocolate sets up. And you'll notice it goes from shiny to dull, and then you're ready to try them. You can see the chewy nougat layer at the bottom, a caramel layer on top, and some nuts. Now this was a test batch we did just to show that you can make it in a different pan and make little squares. You can use an ice cube tray, whatever you like. And don't forget to try this with different nut butters or seed butters too. This dark one was done with hazelnut, chocolate hazelnut butter, and it was absolutely fantastic. We'll be doing that one again. 
And then you're just gonna go ahead and dip them like normal. And then after we've got them out of the chocolate, they all look the same. So we top the hazelnut once with a little piece of hazelnut. I think these would be delicious done with pistachio butter as well. Or if you have nut allergies in your house, use sunflower butter.